Thank you for watching our AI Gorillas YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe and enjoy the bananas. Welcome to our AI Gorillas YouTube channel. Please consider subscribing it means a lot to the gorillas if you do. Today's video is on the use of AI in the criminal justice system. As technology advances, more and more police departments and law enforcement agencies are turning to artificial intelligence to aid in their work. The criminal justice system can benefit greatly from the use of AI, making it more efficient, accurate, and fair. But what exactly does this mean for our justice system and what are the potential consequences of this increased use of AI? Facial recognition Facial recognition technology is one of the most widely used forms of AI in the criminal justice system. This technology allows law enforcement to quickly and easily identify individuals in a crowd or in a video feed. It's important to note that facial recognition has been used to solve crimes and catch criminals, such as in the case of the Golden State Killer, where a genetic genealogy technology was used to catch a serial killer who had eluded law enforcement for decades. Crime Prediction AI is also being used in the criminal justice system to predict crimes. By analyzing data from past crimes, AI algorithms can identify patterns and predict where future crimes are likely to occur. This can help law enforcement to quickly identify potential threats and respond more effectively. As more and more police departments begin to use these predictive technologies, it's important to consider the potential consequences of this increased surveillance. Despite this, crime prediction AI systems have been successful in reducing crime rates in some cities, such as in New Orleans, where a predictive policing program led to a significant reduction in gun violence. Case studies, the use of AI in the criminal justice system is still a relatively new development, yet there are already several examples of how it's being used in practice. The United Kingdom's London Metropolitan Police have been using live facial recognition technology to identify suspects in real time. In China, the government has implemented a massive surveillance system that uses facial recognition and other forms of AI to monitor the population. Dubai police officers have been using drones equipped with facial recognition technology to patrol the streets. AI systems have also been used to improve the efficiency of the criminal justice system by automating tasks such as document analysis and language translation, for example, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office has been using AI to automate the process of reviewing and redacting sensitive information from case files. Real-time suspect tracking One of the most advanced ways AI is being used in the criminal justice system is in real-time suspect tracking. In the UK, the Metropolitan Police Services MPS, X-Hawk drone uses facial recognition technology to track suspects in real-time. This technology allows law enforcement to quickly identify and capture suspects in large crowds or in public spaces. This technology can also be used in other situations, such as tracking suspects who are on the run or who are in hiding. Improvement of court system, AI is also being used to improve the efficiency of the court system. For example, in the state of New York, AI systems are being used to predict the outcome of court cases, which has led to a reduction in the number of court cases and a more efficient use of resources. Eyewitness testimony, AI is also being used to improve the accuracy of eyewitness testimony. For example, the University of Virginia's Memory and Decision-Making Laboratory has developed an AI-powered system that can identify the factors that contribute to eyewitness errors and help to improve the accuracy of eyewitness testimony. By using AI to analyze eyewitness testimony, the criminal justice system can be made more accurate and fair. Safety in prisons and detention centers, AI is being used to improve the safety of prisons and detention centers. For example, in the state of Ohio, AI systems are being used to predict and prevent inmate violence in the Ohio Department of Rehabilitation and Correction. This technology can be used to analyze data from cameras, sensors, and other sources to identify patterns and anomalies that may indicate potential violence. By using AI to predict and prevent violence, the criminal justice system can improve the safety of inmates, staff, and the public. Forensic psychology. AI is being used in the field of forensic psychology to predict the risk of recidivism and to assist in the rehabilitation of offenders. For example, the Correctional Offender Management Profiling for Alternative Sanctions Compass, system is a machine learning algorithm that is used to predict the likelihood of reoffending and to inform decisions about bail, sentencing, and parole. By using AI to predict recidivism, the criminal justice system can make better informed decisions about rehabilitation and reintegration of offenders. AI-powered systems can be used to analyze large amounts of data from surveillance cameras, social media, and other sources to identify patterns and anomalies that could indicate criminal activity. 
This can help law enforcement to quickly identify potential threats and respond more effectively. AI can also be used to improve the accuracy and fairness of the criminal justice system. AI-powered systems can be used to analyze evidence and testimony to identify inconsistencies and contradictions, which can help to identify false confessions or wrongful convictions. There are also concerns about the accountability of AI systems, as they are often designed and operated by private companies, rather than government agencies. Experts have called for increased transparency and accountability in the use of AI in the criminal justice system. It is also important for there to be strict regulations in place for the use of AI in criminal justice, with oversight to ensure that the technology is being used ethically and responsibly. In conclusion, the use of AI in the criminal justice system is a complex and rapidly evolving issue. While it has the potential to aid law enforcement in their work and make the justice system more efficient, accurate, and fair, it's important to consider the potential consequences and to ensure that this technology is used ethically and responsibly. It is important to strike a balance between utilizing the benefits that AI provides and ensuring that it is used in an ethical and fair manner. It is crucial that we continue to have open and honest discussions about the use of AI in criminal justice and work towards creating a system that is just for all. This includes involving stakeholders such as civil rights organizations, ethicists, and community leaders in the decision-making process. With the right approach and regulations, AI has the potential to improve the criminal justice system and make it more efficient and just for all. Thank you for watching AI Gorillas. Please like and subscribe or the gorillas will eat all the bananas and may not share with anyone. Thanks again. Please leave some more AI topic ideas for the gorillas and definitely smash the like button. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. It's how we feed the gorillas.